Ministers, ladies and gentlemen, uh, a very good afternoon. A strong government's framework uh, is a critical context within, the, uh, within which transport infrastructure, if it's managed effectively and efficiently, uh, can contribute to economic productivity, to individual well-being, uh, and to inclusive societies. The problem always, when we're thinking about how to invest, is who will pay the party. I think that the idea is always to try to, to balance what do you want to expect in the future and what the needs that you have at this moment. We need large-scale socio-economic evaluation in order to come to the right political decisions about investment in transport, especially in public transport. You have to make investments in infrastructure that may not look like they're what you need today, but they're what you need mm. tomorrow. It would be irresponsible not to be innovative in how you finance them. It would be irresponsible to not adapt new technologies. The only way to get really innovation, even if I am an organization of governments, is call the private sector, please bring your innovations mm. into account. We have uh, initiatives to uh, promote zero emission uh, urban transport. And digitalization is one of the, mm. the main uh, ways forward in order to uh, uh, cut down congestion, not by building new uh, highways, but, but make better use of them. Mm. We need another link between infrastructure, fighting climate change, all this is linked up to new urban planning, and all this is about the last mile, the famous last mile, and um, how, we, how we do that. We're not inventing the wheel in Norway. We're looking to Canada. We're looking to other places, places in Europe, uh, to Asia. We're traveling around the world to, to pick up the back prices. We need the ITF to be a good uh, place for to, to, share, to share knowledge, to share back, back best uh, practices, because we want to copy it. We don't need uh, so many solutions to the same problem. We just need the best one. Progress is being made in doing it differently in this country. And then everybody else is willing to look and pick up that practice and bring it to their country. And I witness a steady step forward in more sophisticated approaches that actually have more discipline, that have more accountability, and have a better um, management strategy for risk. It's been a, a lively and, and, and fascinating discussion. We've, we've covered a lot. Uh, I'm not going to say any, anything else apart from to thank our excellent panelists. Thank you to all of you. Thanks very much indeed.